Hello and welcome to our virtual resource fair. Uh, we know things are a little different. However, we thought it's still um, very important for us to share community resources with you all that you all can access here uh, in the Central Florida area. And today I have Miss Kathy Sharon with me, who is the co-chair of the Voter Services Committee for the League of Women Voters in Orange County, of Orange County, excuse me. Hello, Kathy. Thank you for being with us today. Oh, hi, Mahalia. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, can you introduce your organization and its purpose? Of course. But we're the League of Women Voters of Orange County, and we're a chapter of the Florida and United States League of Women Voters. We're a nonpartisan, nonprofit membership organization. We believe that voting is a sacred right of every United States citizen. And of course, men are welcome to join us too. For over a hundred years, the League has fought to protect the rights of all eligible voters, regardless of political party or beliefs. We fought to expand access and break down barriers for those who have been left out of the democratic process. Our mission is to empower voters and defend democracy. Wow, and I like that exclamation of defend democracy Absolutely. at the end. Absolutely, that's our, our bottom line. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Um, can you speak about some of the services that you offer the community? Of course. Again, we do not support or oppose any political candidates. We protect millions of voters every year through informed, aggressive advocacy and active involvement in government on major policy issues. We register thousands of voters and we serve as poll workers at local, state, and national elections. We also partner with other nonpartisan organizations and neighborhood groups to promote active participation in government. We fight to expand voter access through ease of voter registration, early voting, and voting by mail. We fight suppression and we work to make every election free and fair. And we educate citizens about their voter rights, public policies, governmental actions, and candidates for public office. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for that. So, which brings me to my next question. We are slowly but surely trying to get to life back as it was previously. Um, of course, we'll, we're still with the social distancing, hand washing, wearing our mask. Mine is never too far away. <laughs> but um, how are you all currently offering your services and has the pandemic continued to have an impact on how you offer services? Absolutely. Um, like everything else, our, our services came to a grinding halt uh, last year. And um, the, the League has yet to return to face-to-face -to -face outreach to help pe people to get access to register to vote. But hopefully soon, fingers crossed, we'll be able to resume face-to-face -face activities very soon. We continue to be very concerned about protecting every eligible person's right to vote while maintaining their safety during this pandemic. And some of the ways we've worked to overcome these challenges are we launched a communication campaign to help eligible citizens register online to vote at the Florida Divisions of Election website, which is register to Flor register to vote Florida gov. We've also partnered with Orange County public and private schools and neighborhood groups to get voter registration and voting access information in the hands of our community. We are advocating for longer early voting registration periods in Florida so people have more flexibility to vote. And through education and voter outreach efforts, we encourage voters to request from the Orange County Supervisor of Elections Office a vote by mail ballot to be sent to their homes so they can vote conveniently and safely from their house. We will continue to provide online information on issues and candidates that will be on the ballot in coming elections. So here's some important voting 
information we'd like to share with you. Could, the first slide, please, Mahalia. Absolutely. Great. Um, but there are several different ways you can register to vote. The one way is you can register to vote online at registertovoteflorida.gov. On this site, you will need two forms of ID to register, either a Florida driver's license or Florida ID card, and the last four digits of your social security number. Or you could print a registration form at that same website, fill it out, and mail it to the Orange County Supervisor of Elections at the address on the screen. This method only requires one form of ID, either a driver's license or Florida ID card, or the last four digits of your social. Or you can register in person at the Orange County Supervisor of Elections Office on Cayley Street in Orlando. Again, there you'll only need one form of ID, either a driver's license or ID card, or the last four digits of your social security number, but not both. Next slide, please, Mahalia. Absolutely. Now we're gonna talk about voting, and there's three different ways you can vote. What first way is the way we're promoting is vote by mail. It's safe and it's easy. You can request a vote by mail ballot at the Orange County Supervisor of Elections website ocfelections.com, or you can call them at the phone number listed on the screen. You must do this at least 10 days before election day, but earlier is definitely better. Your completed vote by mail ballot must reach the supervisor of elections office by 7 p.m. on election day. Postmarks do not count, it must be there. To ensure that it gets there on time, we recommend that you mail your completed ballot at least seven to 10 days before election day. If time is an issue and you know you can't mail it in time, you can drop your ballot off at the Orange County Supervisor of Elections Office on election day, as long as it gets there by 7 p.m. Or you can drop off your completed vote by mail ballot at any Orange County early voting site drop off. Next slide, please, Mihaly. Yes. Another way is you can vote early at many locations throughout Orange County. You can check the Supervisor of Elections website at ocfelections.com for early voting locations, dates, and times. Generally, early voting is open for the two weeks prior to the election day. Or you can vote on election day but you can only vote at your assigned precinct on that day. You can check the Orange County Supervisor of Elections website to get your voting precinct. Next slide, please, Mahalia. A great resource for voting information is vote411.org. That's information is provided by the League of Women Voters and it has issues on candidates, and um, both candid on issues and candidates on upcoming elections. All righty, so the League of Women Voters resource booth. Um, did you wanna share a little bit of information about this slide? Yes, please. Um, this, the, the resource booth, which you'll see in the link below this video, has access to a wealth of voter information. Um, you can get information on voter registration, uh, get your vote by mail ballot, get information on early voting and others and, and the sites where you can vote. There's a link for the vote411.org website. And there's also a link for the League of Women, League of Women Voters of Orange County website. And we'd like to offer membership in the League of Women Voters of Orange County is free to all students. So we'd like you to all to become a warrior for democracy by joining the League. Again, you can go to lwboc.org and get the information and join us.
Thank you. Great, great, great. So by going to that website as well, that's when they can review some of the additional services and resources. Absolutely. That Links you're... for everything will be there. Perfect. Perfect. Well, Kathy, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you sharing all the wonderful information and resources as it relates to voting and specifically um, voting and the resources that your organization has for um, in the name of protecting democracy. That's just such a noble cause. So uh, thank you Absolutely. so much for your time and for joining us for our virtual resource there. I appreciate it. You're quite welcome. Thank you for having me.